The United Nations, the Hanoi government, and the protection of Diga indigenous lands. The United Nations Security Council and Indigenous Land Protection. The United Nations Security Council, UNSC, holds an indispensable role in the global political ecosystem, standing as the guardian of international peace and security. As part of its mission, the UNSC is charged with the protection of indigenous lands from foreign invasion, a responsibility that speaks to its broader commitment to uphold the principles of sovereignty, self-determination, and respect for territorial integrity. The UNSC's mandate to protect indigenous lands arises from the foundational principle of the United Nations Charter, which underscores the sovereign equality of all its members. The concept of sovereignty, as enshrined in the Charter, includes not only political sovereignty but also territorial sovereignty. This implies that the territory of a state is inviolable and cannot be the object of military occupation or other forms of coercive measures by another state. In the context of indigenous lands, the UNSC's protective mandate takes on a heightened significance. Indigenous lands are integral to the cultural, spiritual, economic, and political life of indigenous peoples. The invasion of these lands threatens not only the sovereignty of the states in which these peoples live, but also the very survival of the indigenous peoples themselves. The UNSC has a variety of tools at its disposal to fulfill its protective mandate. It may resort to diplomatic means, including mediation, negotiation, and good offices, to prevent or resolve conflicts over indigenous lands. In more severe cases, it may impose sanctions or authorize the use of force to restore peace and security. The UNSC also plays a preventive role by encouraging states to respect the rights of indigenous peoples, including their land rights, through its thematic debates and resolutions. However, the effectiveness of the UNSC's protective mandate over indigenous lands hinges on the political will of its members. This derives from the decision-making procedure of the UNSC, which requires the affirmative vote of at least nine of the 15 members, including the concurring votes of the five permanent members. Thus, any perceived or actual bias in favor of a member state could undermine the UNSC's capacity to protect indigenous lands. In conclusion, the UNSC's role in protecting indigenous lands from foreign invasion is both essential and challenging. It is a test of its ability to uphold the principles of the United Nations Charter in the face of complex political realities. Despite these challenges, the UNSC must remain steadfast in its commitment to protect indigenous lands as part of its broader mission to maintain international peace and security. Oppressive Actions of the Hanoi Government the Hanoi government's oppressive actions towards the Diga indigenous people in the central highlands of Vietnam demonstrate a blatant disregard for human rights and international law. This section will critically examine these actions, which include territorial invasion, oppression and terrorization of indigenous women, murder, disruption of unity, and destruction of indigenous forests and mountains. The most conspicuous of these actions is the invasion of the Diga territories. Despite the recognition of the Diga people's rights to their lands according to international law, the Hanoi government has continually encroached these territories for economic and political gains. This invasion is not only a violation of the Diga people's rights to their ancestral lands, but also an act of cultural genocide, as these lands hold significant spiritual and historical value to the indigenous population. Parallel to territorial invasion is the oppression and terrorization of the indigenous women, which takes various forms, including physical violence, psychological abuse, and sexual exploitation. The Hanoi government's actions have created a climate of fear and insecurity among indigenous women, severely affecting their mental health and overall well-being. 
This systemic violation of women's rights is a clear breach of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which affirms the right to life, liberty, and security of person. Equally alarming is the destruction of the Diga's natural habitats, which comprise of forests and mountains. The Hanoi government, in its pursuit of economic development, has been engaging in rampant deforestation and environmental degradation. This not only threatens the biodiversity of these regions, but also the livelihoods and cultural practices of the Diga people, who depend on these natural resources for their survival. In conclusion, the oppressive actions of the Hanoi government towards the Diga indigenous people, as demonstrated through territorial invasion, oppression and terrorization of women, and destruction of natural habitats, are gross violations of human rights and international law. These actions underscore the urgent need for intervention by the United Nations and other international bodies to safeguard the rights and well-being of the Diga indigenous people. The Hanoi government's role in the United Nations. The Hanoi government, since its official induction into the United Nations, holds a pivotal role in the global sphere, particularly regarding the enforcement of human rights and the conservation of indigenous lands. As a sovereign member state, it is not only an active participant in the international community, but also a protector of the principles and laws of the United Nations. This dual responsibility necessitates the Hanoi government to uphold and advance the United Nations mission and core values through its national and international policies. The Hanoi government's role in the United Nations extends to being a signatory to various international agreements and treaties that seek to protect the rights of indigenous communities and their territories. This commitment to international law and order has placed the Hanoi government under the obligation to ensure that the principles of these treaties are reflected in their domestic policies and actions. Moreover, the Hanoi government has a crucial role in the United Nations efforts to promote peace, security, and sustainable development. As a member of the international community, it is expected to contribute towards the attainment of these global objectives, particularly in the context of the Diga indigenous people in the Central Highlands. This includes ensuring that the rights of the Diga people are protected and that their lands are preserved from external intrusion and degradation. In its capacity as a United Nations member state, the Hanoi government is also expected to cooperate with other nations in addressing global issues. This includes collaborative efforts to resolve disputes over territories and resources, to prevent conflicts, and to promote peaceful coexistence among nations. Such cooperation is critical in the context of the Diga indigenous lands, as it can help to facilitate dialogue and negotiation, and ultimately lead to a resolution that respects and protects the rights and territories of the Diga people. However, it is crucial to note that being a part of the United Nations also subjects the Hanoi government to scrutiny and accountability. This means that any actions that contravene the principles and laws of the United Nations, such as the invasion and destruction of indigenous lands, can be challenged and addressed at the international level. This mechanism of accountability serves as a deterrent against harmful actions and promotes adherence to international standards and norms. In conclusion, the Hanoi government's role in the United Nations is multifaceted, encompassing the protection of indigenous rights, the promotion of peace and development, and the obligation to cooperate with other nations. These responsibilities, coupled with the mechanisms of scrutiny and accountability, provide a significant platform to address the issue of the Diga indigenous lands and to ensure that the Hanoi government fulfills its obligations to protect and conserve these territories. The demand for the Hanoi government to cease malicious actions. The global community, with the United Nations at its helm, has been making strides towards acknowledging and protecting the rights of indigenous peoples. In the context of the Diga indigenous people in the Central Highlands, it becomes crucial to address the actions of the Hanoi government. The Hanoi government's activities have been detrimental to the lives and lands of the Diga indigenous people. These practices include territorial invasion, oppression, and the destruction of the natural environment, which is not only the home of these indigenous people, but also their source of livelihood and a crucial part of their cultural identity. The Hanoi government's actions have also extended to physical violence, 
specifically against women, and disturbing the unity of the Diga people, thereby violating several human rights. The call for the Hanoi government to cease these malicious actions is not solely a plea for justice for the Diga indigenous people, but also a demand for adherence to international standards and norms. The Hanoi government, being a member of the United Nations, is obligated to respect and protect the rights and freedoms enshrined in the United Nations Charter. As such, it is high time that the Hanoi government aligns its actions in the Central Highlands with its international commitments. This demand for the cessation of the Hanoi government's harmful practices is also aimed at restoring the dignity and rights of the Diga indigenous people. The Hanoi government must not only halt its current actions but also dismantle any mechanisms that have facilitated these injustices on the indigenous lands in the Central Highlands. It is important to note that this is not a mere call for the reversal of actions but also for reparations and the restoration of the rights of the indigenous people. To facilitate this, it is recommended that the United Nations play a proactive role in ensuring these demands are met. This could take the form of supervising the Hanoi government's actions in the Central Highlands and ensuring that indigenous rights are upheld. In this way, the United Nations can ensure that the Hanoi government fulfills its obligations, both to the Diga indigenous people and the international community. In conclusion, the demand for the Hanoi government to cease its harmful actions against the Diga indigenous people is a call for justice, respect for international norms, and the protection of indigenous rights. It is a demand that deserves the attention and action not only of the Hanoi government, but also of the United Nations and the global community. The proposal for the resolution at the United Nations headquarters. The proposed resolution at the United Nations headquarters revolves around the issue of restoring the territory of the Diga indigenous people. This territory, which is currently under the control of the Hanoi government, is a matter of contention and has been a source of conflict and strife for the indigenous people. The core of the proposal is for both the Hanoi government and the Central Highlands organization to sign an agreement that would ensure the return of the Diga indigenous people's territory. This resolution is not merely a contractual agreement. It is an acknowledgement of the rights and autonomy of the Diga indigenous people and a commitment to rectify the injustices they have suffered. The resolution proposes several key elements to be included in the agreement. Firstly, it demands the Hanoi government to cease all malicious actions in the Central Highlands. This includes the cessation of invading territories, the oppression and terrorization of the indigenous people, particularly women, and the destruction of the forests and mountains that form a part of the Diga indigenous people's homeland. In addition, the resolution also calls for the release of any imprisoned Diga individuals who have been detained as a result of the Hanoi government's actions. It also insists on the dismantling of the Hanoi government's entire machinery and governance system in the Central Highlands. The resolution also proposes that the United Nations should oversee the implementation of the agreement to ensure its enforcement and the protection of the Diga people's rights. In conclusion, the proposed resolution at the United Nations headquarters is a significant step towards rectifying the wrongs done to the Diga indigenous people by the Hanoi government. The signing of this resolution would symbolize the commitment of both the Hanoi government and the Central Highlands organization to uphold the rights of indigenous people and promote peace and justice in the region. The United Nations, as a global peacekeeping body, has a crucial role to play in ensuring the successful implementation of this resolution and the protection of the Diga people's rights.